Hello, my name is Garx82 and welcome back to my Garg Tech New Horizon series. Uh, last episode we started getting into the platinum process here and uh, yeah, we got all the way up to getting this leech residue dust and uh, if we take a look at that. Um, next part we need some saltpeter. And I have a feeling, since this had no, it had like nothing like use, I feel like I avoided a whole bunch of it. All right, so we still have a bunch, but I'm pretty sure I avoided like 50,000 saltpeter. Um, so that's good to see. All right, so we got that. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do about the... Salt water. I think it's salt water we need, right? Yeah, salt water. Um, like, do I want to just make the salt? That's pointless. I feel like that's kind of silly to craft up salt water here. Um, one, I can just pump it like thousands of buckets worth. Uh, is that... Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe... Yeah, how do I want to do this? I have, I don't remember which room it's in, this room. Yeah, I have this here. There is, now that it like totally off, um, totally getting uh, distracted here. There is an actual, I can remember the name of it. There is a multi-block fluid thing that holds 25 different fluids. Is that, it's something T, but that's, <laughs> that's not gonna work. T something is, it's like, nope, man. Fluid, how about we try input edge? Cause that will be, it's kind of like a, I can find it. There's a bunch of different things in here as well now. I can't remember where I found it, what I was searching up. Uh, but anyway, there is a, there's like a new multi-block that I can store all my fluids in. Yeah, I would have to like, man, there's so many different multi-blocks and I have no idea what they do. Vision fuel processing unit, like is that like an IC2 reactor? And I would have to find it. But uh, basically, it's just a thorium high temperature reactor. No clue what any of this stuff does. Anyway, um, I can find that again. Uh, maybe I could have a central, I should have like a maybe a central building for all my different fluids. Um, because kind of what I was saying is I have chlorine here and then I have like sulfuric acid over here somewhere in my, um, and I'm getting, I have so many buildings now, like <laughs> I'm getting them all like stuff. Yeah. So I have chlorine in my rubber room. I have oxygen there randomly. Then I have, um, Like this is hydrogen sulfide, so I don't know. Maybe that is something to kind of look into, but I gotta remember which uh, what the name of that thing is. Um. Anyway, what I was saying before I got really distracted there is maybe I should craft up another Ender tank and hook it up to this one, and then just have a known another tank i mean i could do that the only thing is with this i don't want it to like i guess use it all although i don't think this runs if it has a full hatch does it i'm trying to remember i could just throw a if i have room 
what are we cyan cyan oh okay so it doesn't tell you the color on it anymore so that's i think it's this one all right so i do have channels on that so that is an idea maybe just throw a that's probably what i'll do for now and then maybe come up with uh something all right let me uh do this really quick i need to fly to uh europa get some more of this pumping and uh maybe i should can i even craft a better chest i don't think i can actually can i i don't think i can craft those circuits anymore yeah Dang it. I just noticed it doesn't say how many, how big this one is. Pretty sure this is the 32 million, but it doesn't say on it unless, I think, unless there's fluid in it. Like that will say how much is in it, but this doesn't have any fluid in it, so it doesn't say like zero out of that. All right, so let me go get that going, and I think I'll just throw a fluid storage bus on it for the moment, I think. Yeah, just so we can get this process going. All right, we are back, and I found the uh, multi-block. It is TFFT, it's called. I don't know what that stands for, but... Uh, I don't know. High-tech fluid tank, but wouldn't that be HTFT? Anyway, um, so there we go. It can hold up to 25 different fluids, and... Um, you can void excess fluids and stuff, which is pretty amazing. So maybe um, we can come up with like a central thing for all our fluids, which is kind of what I wanted originally. Um, but I've ended up just kind of in random buildings, kind of making little builds for different fluids. Um, but there we go. There is the salt water, and that is filling up super quick. I remember it going that fast, to be honest, but... There it goes. Um, so there is the salt water. Yep. So let's get that. And then I have the saltpeter dust. And then I think that's, was that everything for this? How do we want to do this? I guess we'll just do, Yeah, I don't, I wanted to do two input buses because I didn't want, hopefully this will work. I don't even know if this will actually work um, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, if it's in two different input buses, it may not work. Um, but I was kind of wondering how would I fill up, like um, if I had set this to export on, the like saltpeter, it'll just fill up the entire thing with saltpeter and there won't be any room for this leech residue dust. So I was kind of thinking like, maybe if we just had them separate, that would work. So I guess we'll try that. And uh, need, I think I did an export. No, all right, so an export bus. Um, For now, I will just do the fluids automatically into that. I wonder if that crazy slowdown bug has been fixed with the interfaces. Um, if you try to like put a fluid in an interface that has it's not connected, it just like drops your frame rate. I wonder if that's been fixed. Oops. I don't know. Let's try. Let's see. We're at about 110. It looks like it may have, no, it's definitely like, yeah. Yeah, look at the frame rates dropping way down. And then as soon as I connect it, it will fix itself. So there it goes. Um, yeah, so be careful with these fluid interfaces. If they're not connected and you're trying to, if it's full of fluid and you're not connected to a thing, um, causes big problems. All right, so there is the export bus. So saltpeter goes in there. 
That leech dust goes in there. Now I need to... Is that all I have? I thought I had more of that. I'm trying to remember what... Right, platinum residue. Did I not... I may not have... Yeah, that's right. I don't think I had a whole lot of... That stuff taken care of. Let's go ahead and I need to process this so I can get this going. So thermal centrifuge, platinum ore. Pulverize that. And there's some iridium metal du residue dust, so all this stuff. So yeah, that's how we do it. All right, so it's pretty normal. Um, but instead of getting the platinum dust directly, you get the platinum metallic stuff. So let's put that in there and get that processed up. And that should turn this back on. I get through that, I think. All right. Yeah, all right, so there it goes. All right, so we got our each dust. Now I just need the export bus for salt water. So salt water. Guess that works. Nope, I need to add I need to switch these out. Is and I have such a hard time finding this. I don't know why. All right. So, salt water. And then I think it needs 10 or something, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a second for that to... Yeah, you need 10 of that. So let me uh, wait for that and then um, we'll get the next part of the, the process here. All right, we got about 63 in there, and I've gone ahead and hooked it up to the power and gone ahead and crafted up a few things for the next part. So hopefully, I'm hoping this will work with the two things. I haven't tested it yet, um, but we shall see. It should be working. All right, so there it goes. Yeah, I thought it would, but uh, wasn't sure. All right, so there is the sodium ruthenate, and we're getting steam out of it. I don't think I am. I may. Hmm. I don't think I need this steam. I could be wrong, though. Um, I think I'm just going to put the stuff in the A system. And then because there is that. Yeah, the rarest metal stuff, I don't think we're going to use it yet. So. We'll do. Getting a little crazy under here, but uh, not too bad. All right, so that will pull that in there. Then I need the sodium back out. Um, I could, like type it out and then filter it, but it, I think it's just easier just to throw it in the A system. And uh, I was gonna do a, the, uh, I was gonna do a large chemical reactor, but I think I'm just gonna, I don't mind doing these. Need import. Import allow output. Input from outside allowed. That's. That'll be chlorine. All 
this this will be the sodium stuff, right? Gets mixed with, yeah, chlorine. And then that'll just bounce the cells back and forth. All right, so I need chlorine. Just keep a bunch of these in my inventory. So chlorine in there. Need a few cells. About eight. All right, there we go. So there is the ruthenium tetraoxide. Then this needs to be heated up. So I need a fluid heater. And then we also need a distillation tower for that. All right, so got more crafting up to do. And uh, I think this only needs to be, what is it I say, three tall? So it's not gonna be very big. It's just gonna be a small little distillation tower. Um, but yeah, let me get the fluid heater and that done. So I didn't do a large chemical reactor. I just did the two. So fluid heater and distillation tower. And there is the next part of it done. We got that. I need to attach that. All right, I think, I think that's everything. Now I just need to heat this up. And we need a circuit of one for that. Put that in there. Fluid auto output. There we go. So that will just turn all that into that. Now, obviously, I'm only doing this at HV. It's not the fastest it can be, but uh, yeah. So that is that. Now I need to get this in here. Unfortunately, the distillation tower needs to be underneath. I can't just go like up into it like that. So I need, I'm just gonna go out the back, I think. Grab some of those pipes. So that will just, yeah, out and then I guess under. Like that. Oh, fluid output should be going underneath. Yeah. All right. So that just needs to kind of build up and, uh, That will, I'm actually thinking maybe I should put that on this side. Because I'm thinking I'll put the very last bit of the machines right here, I think. I just noticed there's a, there's a node right there. Um, what to do? Anyway, let's, uh, all right, so hot, that turns it to that. That'll distill it down. I'll just void the water. Um, ruthenium tetraoxide. Then we need to fluid solidify that. And then last but not least, we get the ruthenium. I have to mix it with some hydrochloric acid. And we get some chlorine back. It would probably be much easier to do it in this. I think. All right, so what did I say I needed? I need the 
the ruthenium tetroxide. Yeah, it needs to be solidified. So I need a fluid solidifier and I guess a large chemical reactor and I'll put those right there, I guess. So we got our fluid heater. So I need, yep, fluid solidifier, large chemical. Wow, I actually got most of this right. The only thing I didn't have was two blast furnaces, but everything else I got right. All right, uh, let me craft up the rest of this and this is just gonna, we'll do all that. And uh, we'll come back when that, we actually have enough right now. Um, but yeah, uh, let me figure out if I want, probably gonna move these output hatches to here, I think, and then just pipe it over into a large chemical reactor right here, or a fluid solidifier, and then yeah, a large chemical reactor right here, I think will be good. So it's kind of like a bit of a, well, yeah, I was thinking it would be kind of like, the process is, kind of goes around in a loop, but it actually goes like this and starts over there. Anyway, let me uh, get this up and we'll come back. All right, I think I got everything. Although I just realized I didn't uh, get... Let me get some... Need one of those and I guess maybe interfaces. It may use those, I'm not sure yet, but uh, all right, so we got the advanced fluid solidifier there, got that there, and yes, oops, the input bus will go right there. No, that's not going to work, is it? Because that is going, we'll do it out here. So the output bus will go right there. Yeah, I'll just pipe it out the back into the chemical reactor. And that goes there. I'm just gonna have to break this. Like it was air and Terra. And I guess I guess the output hatches will just kind of go there, maybe. Wait, did I? Yes, I did. Input bus goes there. And then I guess put that there. Yeah, because then I can just hook it up. Mm, I don't know if I have enough channels right there, but uh, yeah. And then input hatch. Guess right there. And I may, I'll probably kind of rearrange stuff as I kind of see how this whole process works. Um, I usually do that if I see anything that can be Optimized. All right, so there, there is the large chemical reactor. I think I missed something. What did I miss? Platings invented, and that doesn't belong there. Platings. That. All right, so there we go. Um, I need a, um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for items, item duck. Just throw that in the back, that'll send that in there. Then I need, all right, first let's get, let's get this going. Um, Yeah, I think I, I have everything hooked up. It should work. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so that is 75 seconds. Hmm, that's, um, that's something I didn't realize, but this is 
the nitric acid is actually my backup here. So I may have to optimize that a bit. And uh, yeah, maybe, I mean, you get a bunch of the stuff out of this. I think you get seven or eight buckets, which turns into, I don't know how many things in here. Oh, we need to not. That goes in, this is the one that goes in the, yeah, distillation tower. So ruthenium texture oxide, yeah, fluid solidifier. Oh, actually that's a thousand. Oh, I thought that was maybe 144, but yeah, you only get a few of this, so, hmm. This definitely isn't the fastest, but like I said, it's going to be running, oops, constantly, and uh, we'll kind of see if they want to speed this thing up. I think I'm definitely going to have to do... the nitric acid, because that is definitely a slow bit. Yeah, um, but I'll think about that. So, all right, so let's turn this off so we don't void anything unnecessarily. So we got the water in there, the ruthenium textra oxide. Let's just go this way. Oops. So there we go. That will fluid solidify that into that. We'll item output that in there. That'll go in there. Perfect. Uh, last little bit here, we need the export bus. Oh, I got that. Or the hydrochloric acid, which I think I did. Put it underneath, right? Yeah. So I guess there, I need to, what's the main building? I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I did. Couldn't remember if I set a, storage bus on the hydrochloric acid, but I did. The hydrochloric acid in there. And what's up? Dang it, I'm gonna run out of cables. I'm gonna be like a few short. Yeah, I'm just a couple short. I think I'm going to need. Yeah, this is going to be the uh, dense cable, I think. Oh, that's in there. This should be getting hydrochloric acid. Perfect. Now, I think that is, that's everything, I think. We got output bus, output hatch, output hatch there. We got that being turned down into that. That is in there. I think that is finally ruthenium. So let's turn this on and see what we get. All right, it's working. All right, ooh, that's really outputting that fast. Let's turn that off just because we're voiding. I prefer not to void, although chlorine's really not an issue anymore, but uh, Yeah, I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that because I don't want chlorine just filling up my A system. Oh 
on. That's kind of why. That's kind of why I'm thinking I want to have a centralized kind of fluid area. And that's being all voided. Doesn't really matter though. Yeah. Although I don't want this like running permanently. Like it's using a little bit of chlorine and then it turns on. Just to save that for now. Yeah, that's just kind of wasting. It's voiding uh, salt water on Europa, but oh well. Yeah, I gotta figure that out, how I want to do this. And I love just seeing everything turn on as needed. It just feels really cool. But there is our... Uh... Ruthenium. Yeah, that's actually going to take a little while to uh, craft up, because I'm crafting up the things. Um, yeah, how many... Six. I can't actually add. Yeah, water is just going to be voided, obviously. So I guess we'll just do that. I got to connect that, otherwise my frame rate will tank. And then we'll have the interface there. So there we go. There is ruthenium. That is the whole process. Um, it looks pretty scary when it's an NEI, but when you kind of break down each step, it's actually not that difficult. Um, but like I said, I'll just have this running. I think I'm going to upgrade the nitric acid so we can get that a bit faster. And maybe update the distillation tower because that is 75 seconds is quite a long time. Maybe send out a faster cable. It's going to be a bit messy though. Um, yeah, maybe like IV or something like that. I don't think I'm going to send out a ludicrous, but I don't know. I'll have to kind of figure that out. I could come along here, like up here along, and then over. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So I just got to kind of optimize this all, but uh, yeah, um, that's basically just going to help supplement our ruthenium. And uh, yeah, I think that is pretty cool. Um, it, Right now, I'm kind of just supplementing that process because it is a bit slow right now. Um, hopefully, we'll get it sped up, but I am just supplementing it with the UU Manor. So hopefully, I don't know how much we have right now. 266. I think we actually may be kind of right around being able to craft up another one of those multi-blocks or I think a wetware circuits, I think is the next one I need to craft up. Yeah, 90, 98. So, uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that is about it for this episode. It took a little longer than I was thinking it was going to take, but, uh, yeah, it's still really fun. I like figuring out all like the chemistry kind of stuff. So, um, I think we're doing pretty good with a lot of this stuff, so let me just get some of this going. Actually, that is that. I don't know where I put all my the plate recipes, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Where did I put all that stuff? For the large plates that I'm going to need. Are they in here? I have no idea. I have to find those. Maybe they're outside. No, I don't know where I put those large plates. Anyway, uh, we'll get that going, and I think um, I think we actually have most of the stuff for the neutronium thing. I just need the circuits, basically. So uh, I'm gonna let that kind of run and process all that platinum stuff. And, uh, yeah, I need to process more of that black plutonium as well. Send that through. I have 17,000. I just wanted to make sure I had all the plates 
ready for the black plutonium plates. Um, but yeah, I'll get that all sent through so we can make the cosmic neutronium. I have a whole bunch of neutronium that I've been getting going. Yeah, so uh, yeah, basically just the circuits. And we'll finally be able to check out the neutronium compressor. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.